Ooh, welcome man welcome back to the channel guys that is right i am headed to the chrysler training center guys um from time to time yes i have to go to school and learn some things you never done learning if you employ at a dealership that's because a uh, new product comes out all the time guys all right now today i'm in class for uh, some transmission a transmission course okay but y'all know me uh, i like to get here a little early because i'm one of those nosy individuals that like to know what else is going on <laughs> okay even after lunch guys y'all know i don't eat like that so i try to uh come in before everybody else do on lunch and analyze things guys um uh, now like i say uh i'm kind of early so i'm gonna go to the back to the rear to the rear and we're gonna uh, there's some new things back here guys the first thing that, ca that caught my eye guys this is what i think it was 2019 or 2020 at the time uh, i went to the rear differential guys do y'all see this there are cooling pipes going to the rear differential guys that's right guys uh i think this is a 2019 or a 2020 model but at any rate uh fca took a strategy uh industry first application that uses heated engine cooling to warm up the rear axle lubricants this is on most of the four by two guys once it's heated the valve wraps cool into the rear axle where it circulates through a cavity in the double layered axle cover to warm the gear oil all right uh for some reason they want that gear oil warm as quickly as possible it has to be an advantage to it guys otherwise they wouldn't do it okay so <laughs> as an advantage to everything uh car makers do guys this is no exception um now like i said i think this was a 2020 model okay they only have the latest and greatest vehicles at the training center and guys i met some real cool people i'll let y'all in on some of the conversation we have <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you can't barely hear it? No, this thing so quiet. Down like that. So does that equal? I said because it's. I don't. I don't. I think it's just different. Because uh, I, I, I heard somebody say that it's got it's got roller lifters. Um, everything's changed up on them colors. This shit is full blown. Oh. All right, guys, let's get to the matter at hand. Why I'm here. Yes, guys, this is a transmission course. Uh, they had it laid out for us. Okay, four transmission on a table is a number total of 10 students, I guess. All right, and we split it up in three per table, and one would be a floater. I usually like to be the floater because <laughs> uh, I don't really want to work, I just want to learn. All right, but you have to lay hands on this stuff to learn. Now, this is a ASRC, Automatic Transmission Diagnosis and Repair course, all right? So this instructor-led training course teaches repair procedure for the Asian ASRC transmission family. The course covers overhaul precaution components, root cause analysts, and also provides exposure to the ASRC transmission flight recording diagnosis. Yes, guys, uh, the whole intention is thus for the to know how to um, take it apart and put it back together. Yeah, y'all see me right there. I like to clown around and get dramatic a little bit. We getting ready to take this apart, guys. All right, class start, guys. I'll just jump in and out of some of this stuff. Good. Uh, Blue and white, yellow and black. I see what he's saying now. This is be easy to forget. <laughs> what you mean like that? I mean, no, it's kind of steel so Look how short that is, how long oh, that yeah. is. Oh yeah, like a pole. Yeah. Let's do it kind of. Good. Is what? Oh yeah, that's what he's saying. You can't get it wrong. <laughs> he said it like yeah, meet some really cool together. people, man. We uh, um, wow. we disassemble, we disassemble it, man. By the time we get it all apart, it's about uh, I mean, when I say disassemble, I mean take the insides out and everything. It's usually around lunchtime once we get it all apart. We will take a typical hour, hour fifteen minutes of lunch. Um, we will come back. After lunch, we need to sit down a bit, guys, because we fool. And we'll discuss what we took apart. We go over the gear and clutch packs and things like that. Yes, this transmission has been studentized. <laughs> it's one of Egg Ginger's uh, favorite phrases. <laughs> it seems like this shit. Alright, go. 
pull out our, we'll all the planet, the, the whole complete system. We're going to disassemble this transmission down to the bare case. All right, sometimes we have to discuss each bearing, why it's there, why is it needed, get out all the planetary gears. And guys, what's weird, there's still tools you needed, even transmission pull tool, pump tools. This particular trans, there's another part in it that requires to be pulled out. So without the special tool, it's hard to accomplish any of this anywhere. Yes, still need to pump. Now I have one. Uh, a lot of guys use two. I can't find but one of mine. So, but the thing about it, uh, I haven't overhauled a transmission in a while now, guys. Uh, typically, uh, we phase in, we turn into R and R man. I don't know what's going on. I guess uh, if it has to be repaired, at least I would know what I'm up against and they give us a book we leave with a book guys you never can memorize all this stuff all that's that why we have a book yeah. that we take home with us that we're able to refer back to in the event we run into uh, the job and here's the other guys uh, they table they got theirs all disassembled the clutch packs all separated they over at the press machine right now to press out the piston the instructor show us the correct way to do it guys uh, you know we all know every mechanic going convert the instructors instructions into our own way of doing things guys yes i like to know i like to learn how to properly do things but in the future i would tend to convert it to things uh convert things to the jt way okay uh everybody's pretty much like that we're going back in with it guys i'm just jumping through this uh skip by skip we're getting ready to uh, yeah put the case on here or the cover on here we had a little hard time aligning this up, but eventually it fell down, guys. These guys are sharp. Some of these guys uh, are training men, so, uh, you know, it was easy for them. They just needed the course to qualify for a certain level, all right? We just about got this all put together, guys. Like I say, I'm not going to go through this whole course. Just bits and bits. Look at these servos, guys. Uh, you know you have to cushion the blow. Every time you change gears... It would be a harsh gear change if you didn't have servos, guys. So they are very important. But like I said, guys, I'm flying through this quickly. We're putting this back together. This was a successful put back together, a successful course. I picked up a lot of things. I have my book if I need to do one. And uh, I just wanted y'all to see what's going on, guys. That's all, man. I appreciate y'all watching the videos, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.